Let's take a look at our tail of the tape for this, our second matchup between Jackson Marinez and Rolando Romero. You see the five-year age difference, the height, and the reach in favor of the Dominican Republic native. Both men are undefeated. Someone, so has got to go. We are all set for our co-main event here tonight from Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Great to be with all of you. And we will now send it up to ring announcer. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from the Mohegan Sun Arena, Premier Boxing Champions presents an interim world title attraction brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, the President, Hilberto Jesus Mendoza. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside, all from the state of Connecticut, Glenn Feldman, Frank Lombardi, and Don Torella. Introducing at this time our referee in charge of the action. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Harvey Dock. All right, fans, here we go in a battle of undefeateds. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the interim WBA Lightweight World Championship. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, Wearing black trunks with yellow and red trim, hailing from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. He weighed in right at the lightweight limit of 135 pounds. His undefeated record stands at 19 wins, no losses, seven wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the undefeated WBA number six ranked world contender, Jackson Phoenix Marines. And his opponent across the ring, he is fighting out of the blue corner in this interim world title attraction, wearing black trunks with red trim, joining us from Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at 134 and three quarter pounds. His outstanding record stands at 11 wins, no losses, 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the exciting undefeated WBA number seven ranked lightweight in the world, Rolando Roli Romero. Once again, our referee in charge, now to give instructions, Harvey Dock. Okay, boxers, you received your instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Obedeceme todo el tiempo. Toca los guantes. Touch them up. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. I like Harvey Doc. He's trying to go ahead and use some uh, Spanish. He said, you know, good evening. And also, good luck to the guys. For Rolando Romero, he's trained by Cromwell Gordon for his adversary tonight. As we look at Jackson Marinez, led by Jose Contreras, but he spent time for the past year working with Robert Garcia in Oxnard, California. Robert Garcia, the brother of Mikey Garcia, forward division world champion. The jab comes out. There's a jab right in the midsection by Romero. Marina is with the jab himself. Jab by Romero. There's a right hand that was close to fighting its mark. Jab by Romero. Over and right, a left hook now. Romero opening up. He has a 90% knockout percentage, does Romero, and he's really starting to walk down Jackson Marinas. For Rolando Romero, he is trying to back up everything that he said, and right now he is backing up Jackson Marinas. 100 seconds left here in our first round. This one's scheduled for 12. There's a chopping right hand on the top of the head 
of Jackson Marinez. There's a right hand by Marinez. Meadow bent over to evade it. 70 seconds left here in the first round. Double jab by Marinez. In the black and red, where the black and yellow is Marinez. Saying to Marinez, he has nothing, he has nothing. Talking about Romero. There's a right on the top of the head by Romero. Double jab by Marinas. Final moments of this, our first round between Rolando Romero and Jackson Marinas. And there is a right to the body by Romero. That ends the first. Coming up next, it is our main event of the evening with David Benavides, who has lost his title on the scale. He weighed in 2.8 pounds over the limit. And for Alexis Angulo, who's trained by Pedro Diaz, former Cuban Olympic boxing coach, also trained the likes of Miguel Cotto, and Alexis Angulo preparing himself for his world title opportunity. If Angulo is successful tonight, he will be the world champion in the world. Starting off the second round, this one is scheduled for 12. Jab followed by a left hook by the metal. Right downstairs, top of the head by Marinas. But Romero's trying to get underneath. Romero sounds like a tennis player. Romero, when he throws, he, 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 when he throws, I mean, my goodness, do you hear those sounds coming from him? He really puts a lot behind his punches. Like everything that he throws I mean, with, with Romero, everything that he throws has devastation written all over. There's a right hand that connected by Jackson Marinas. It's probably the best punch of the fight for Jackson Marinas, that right hand on the chin of Romero. Romero trying to take his record 12 and 0. Marinas aiming to go to 20 and 0. And this is for the interim WBA lightweight championship of the world. Let's see if Rolando Romero Rolius the fight can go this promise and make this one of the most devastating knockouts that we have ever seen in a boxing. Ah, 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 so we'll see if he can fulfill that promise. So, champions within the WBA, you have Lomachenko, Chavante Davis, and Yvonne Mendy. This is an interim title. There's a jab by Romero. Break, break. 
of the power of Romero. He's keeping himself well balanced and in the center of the ring, but the problem is he's getting out hustled right now by Rolando Romero. We'll take a look at Jackson Marinez. The uh, right hand that he connected upon. As we will take a look, and this is some of the action from uh, the second round. Also, Rolando Romero has snack nutrition on his trunks. Takes supplements from snack nutrition, led by Victor Conti. And you see that Romero had to go ahead and breathe out of his nose a little bit because he was eating some jabs from Jackson. Marines from the Dominican Republic. Second job. Also, another fellow Dominican Republic native that competes at 135. That happens to be El Abejon, the Bumblebee, Alien Fortuna. Curious to see what happens with Fortuna over the next few months. So we're back to action here. Dominican Sun Resort and Casino. Quick, 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 quick. In Uncasville, Connecticut. Great to be with all of you here. Army Doc warning them. Watch the elbows. 30 seconds into this our third round. So Reynas is boxing well, but he needs to pick up his work rate. Jab by Romero. I'm telling Reynas, look, you don't want us to be stationary. Do not be stationary. Romero. Trying to really load up and connect upon Marinas for that home run shot, but the one item that is missing from Rolando Romero is the jab. He just threw it out right now, but I'd like to see Romero double and triple up on his jab to be able to set up those power punches for him. <laughs> There's a left that missed by Romero. Just over that way, Mark of the third between Rolando Romero and Jackson Marinas. Under a minute left here in the third. It's been an ebb and flow round as we're starting to see the tactical brilliance of Jackson Marine has come out. And I think Romero is sticking a little bit too much because he's not letting his punches go with the frequency that we saw. There he goes. Then he just hit a couple of jabs in the process. Marina seems to be undeterred from the pressure of Rolando Romero. As we approach the final moments of this, our third round. Time. And that ends the round. Let's take a look at nice jab by Jackson Marinas, and that's what I was talking about with Romero coming forward, and he ate a jab in the process. And 
there was a stiff jab by Jackson Marinez and Romero through that left, but to no avail. In the corner with Rolando Romero. Seconds up. His trainer, Cromwell Gordon. On for this one is scheduled for 12. The intro WBA lightweight title is on the line between Orlando Romero and Jackson Marines. Well, the, the one item for Jackson Marines is his jab is so effective as Romero he is trying to come and throw everything in power. But it is Marines who is stopping the forward progression of Romero by using his jab. He settles into the pocket, does Marines. He's sending out his punch and the jab with a lot of fluidity. And Romero, everything that he throws at him, it's just, you can hear the sounds that he's loading up on everything. He has to be able to set things up more. And I'll say this about Romero, this is probably the biggest that I've seen him physically. He looks very much well-defined and ripped upstairs, but muscles don't necessarily win you prize fights. Both men are in, in great shape, but what I'm saying is, is that you see the biceps, you start to see the physique of Romero that is evident, but at the same time that could be a detriment because you have to load up and you're not able to have as much flexibility because you are so defined and have so much muscle in your upper body. Frank, 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 step back. RV Doc, warning about holding. And pushing from the head. Couple of jabs by Romero as he advances forward. There's a light of that fist. There is a right by Jackson Green is fighting. Calculated the smart fight. Many people thought he was going to get blown out tonight, but that is not to be the case. I mean, he is just a slick veteran. Undefeated. He actually fought most of his fights in the Dominican Republic. Dating back to 2016, but then he transitioned to coming here to the United States, and he fought last December second round stoppage over Yardley Cruz, and that was on the undercard of Javante Davis's fight against Gamboa in Atlanta, and a jabs, 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 as we are seeing. And Jackson Marina is using that jab, stiff jab, stopping Romero in his tracks. He saw Romero bend down and whoa, look at that. He threw it right into the process, but he ate that jab and it affected his balance, did Romero. And this is what Marina said. He goes, he's a talented kid with a lot of power, but I'm not afraid of his power, not at all. And the thing is with Marina's, he isn't going away. He's staying, he's holding his ground. He's maintaining proper balance and he's using his jab. Seconds out! Coming up on our fifth round. Between Jackson Marinez and Rolando Romero. And the jab by Marinez continued to be evident. 
There's a right hand that connected by Jackson Marinas. Rolando Romero needs to jab to be able to get his way on the inside. I mean, it's literally, you are fighting a jabber. You gotta be able to jab your way on the inside to be able to set up your power punches. Rolando Romero has all the ability in the world, but right now he's fighting someone who's slick, who is not afraid of the power and is, look at that, on right hand that was thrown by Romero and Marina has ducked underneath it and put himself right back in the center of the ring. We are watching a technician work here tonight. <laughs> and there's a nice jab by Rolando Romero. Good work. As a minute, a minute has elapsed. A minute plus has come off the clock. There's a left hook that connected by Marinas. A right to the body by Rolando Romero. We're at the halfway mark of the fifth round. Break, break. Sit back, sit back. Double jab by Jackson Marinas. Break, break, break. Step back, step back. Don't keep that head down there too long. Well, as we look at it in terms of who I believe is winning this fight, I could see 3 1 for Marinas, but I could also see 2 to 2 based on the fact that Romero is aggressive. So I could see 3 1 for Marinas. I could see two to two at this point as well, based on the aggression of Romero, the fact that Romero throws with such conviction that it could be something that catches the eye of the judges. Jab by Romero as Jackson Marinez. They both jab at the same time. There's a left hook for Rolando Romero. Final moments of the fifth round. Don't get off. Don't do that. Time! And that's the end of the fifth. And here is Romero with a nice left on the button. Yep. And there is the corner of Rolando Romero, but here is David Benavides with his father, Jose Benavides Sr., as they prepare to try to keep their perfect record intact. David Benavides who lost the title on the scale yesterday due to missing weight. And he takes on that man, Alexis Angulo, against David Benavides. Break, break, break. Step back, step back. And uh, we are into the sixth round. This one's scheduled for 12. Rolando Romero from Las Vegas. He's undefeated, 11-0 with 10 knockouts. He is of Cuban descent, is Rolando Romero. They're talking about the that Romero is not doing anything. That's what they said in the corner of Jackson Marinez. Romero throwing with Venomous intentions with everything that he throws. <laughs> Jab right to the mix section by Romero. <laughs> break, break. Step back, step back. You know, Jackson Marinas is, I would even say, he just got clipped with the left. 
And with Jackson Marinez, he is showcasing his defensive prowess inside the ring because, look, Jackson Marinez is not afraid at all again of Rolando Romero, but Romero is coming forward and starting to put together more punches here in this sixth round. I'd probably say that this is one of the better rounds for Rolando Romero. The question heading into this fight for Roley was, it, was it too much? And so far, I think it's a competitive battle, but there were those who felt like Romero was going to wipe out Marinez, and Marinez just clipped him with a left hook, or with a left uppercut. But back comes Rolando Romero. Good left uppercut by Jackson Marinez. That was his best punch of the fight, but back comes Romero with the left hook of his own. A right hand that connected, a brushing right hand by Romero. They both hooked at the same time. Final moments of the sixth round between Rolando Romero and Jackson Marinez. And we are halfway through. And there is David Benavides, who is watching the action as he is in his dressing room getting ready for his main event affair. Now let's take a look at Rolando Romero, that left hook that found its mark. A right by Romero. Seconds up. Seconds. And we are here at Mohegan Sun. You're starting to see some some cuts or some bruising outside of the right eye of Rolando Romero. Yeah, by Jackson Marinez. Right, right, right. Stop, stop, stop. Get off of him, get off of him, get off of him. Stay off of him. RV Doc. I believe that was some pushing going on. Romero with his jab. Break, break. Overhand right by Rolando Romero. Double jab by Jackson Marinez. And if you're Rolando Romero, he is now thinking more as the fight moves on. Double jab by Jackson Marinez. Quick, quick, quick. Stop. Stop. Put the elbow down. Keep it down. That's the halfway time. mark of the seventh. Harvey Dock warning Romero about leading with the elbow in the forearm. He said that's the second time. So one would think that a third time that Romero has told this, Harvey Doc may deduct the point, and that would be extremely significant in a fight of this magnitude. Both men undefeated, both men perfect records. Romero, 24 years of age, just 29 for Marinez. Romero had under 40 fights as an amateur, then transitioned to being a pro. This is the most difficult challenge tonight for Rolando Romero, without a doubt, in his professional career. He has wiped out all but one of his adversaries in his career. There's a jab by Romero. 
<laughs> Make no mistake, this is a difficult fight. There is a right by Jackson Marinez. He said that the win for Jason Rosario galvanized him, and it made him so proud to be from, from the Dominican Republic to have a fellow country and win a world title. He said, tonight is my night. There's a left hook by Romero. Stay up his head. Stay up the head. Time! Let's take a look at Rolando Romero with a nice combination here, a close distance as Jackson Marinas didn't like that. And a left hook, they both exchange, and there was that leading with the forearm. What do you think about that after? He wants to hold you because he don't want no parts of that weapon inside. He wants to hold you. No, no, arm to. Okay? Yeah. And watch the elbow, because the referee took the point. He's already, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you remember, you're the best. Seconds up! Oh, let's go. 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 Round eight, this one is scheduled for 12. Ray Flores here at Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. Great to be with all of you. Break, 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 break. Step back, and step back. When it comes to this matchup, we are starting to learn a lot more about Rolando Romero. Can he go ahead and pass this test against Jackson Marinez, or will Marinez spoil the plans? of the young rising sensation and Rolando Romero, who is promoted by Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions. We talked about it at the top of the fight that Floyd Mayweather has been working with Romero about using the jab. Romero said it took me about four or five fights for it to actually click, but I think this is the deepest territory that Romero has been in. Romero has only been in eight rounders. He said, I, I'm going from an eight, not even a 10, but going to 12. Look at that combination by Rolando Romero. That might have affected Jackson Marinas. Romero starting to sit down on his shots. This is a wonderful representation for him as we have 100 seconds to go here in the eighth. A terrific matchup here tonight between Rolando Romero and Jackson Reina as they both threw literally one right after the other. As we are approaching 70 seconds here in the eighth. Double jab by Jackson Marinez. Medal, who is sitting down in his punches. For Rolando Romero, just 24 years of age, a knockout percentage of 90%. Rolando Romero has only fought, heading into this fight, 25 rounds. Jackson Marinas has fought over 100 rounds. Just to show you the disparity when it comes to ring experience. Big right hand that connected for Romero might have hurt Marinas. I said break. And that is the end of the eighth. What a terrific fight here tonight.
good combination. Look at that, that big right hand. Whoa, that left hook by Jackson Marinas. This is now incoming. Nueve, this is now incoming. A hook by Romero. Seconds up! As some of round number eight entering round nine. Step back. And as we mentioned, So 25 total rounds in the career of Rolando Romero. He hasn't necessarily even been into this territory. He hasn't been past six in his career. Why? Because of his 11 victories, 10 of them have come inside the distance. He's only gone the distance once in his career. That was a six rounder. That is dating back some time ago to Javier Martinez. And that was a six round matchup. Keep him up, keep him up. Some two years ago in Las Vegas. Jab by Rolando Romero. To let all of you know, this is some high-level boxing that we are watching between these two. Romero is adjusting, now using his jab to set up his power shots. Jackson Marinez is so crafty in there, has very good balance, always in a position to throw and counter Romero. And you can tell that Romero's thinking inside that ring, probably more than what he ever has in his career. Marinez was adamant saying, I believe the experience is going to be a significant factor in this fight. And a headbutt that has caused a laceration above the left eye of Romero. And Romero was trying to wipe off some of that blood. He just wiped away at it again. And it might be affecting the vision of Rolando Romero. And again, he continues to try to wipe away the blood because it might be impairing his vision. Jackson Marinez, though, tries to double up on the jab, but answering back is Romero. That blood is really impairing the vision. The hand speed of Jackson Marinez, and look at that visual expression. Taking a look at it again, and this might that was that was the clash of heads, I believe. And that might have been caused by a cut, or not a cut, but the cut might have been caused by a punch, maybe, the, he said, and a little bit of showboat, some showmanship by Jackson Marinez as he is unloading the jab, and you saw him go back to the corner and take a look at it again. Nice right hand by Marina as he saw that cut opening up on Roly Romero and he went right to work on it and a right by Romero coming up on round 10 Round 10, this one's scheduled for 12. Jackson Marina supremely confident 
Uh, against Rolando Romero. Harvey does referee in charge, but Romero seems to have been flustered by the cut that occurred earlier in the previous round. It's cut man Danny Milano. Danny Milano, one of the best cut men in the business from New York. And the metal moments ago wiped away some of the blood from Jackson Marinas. Her off his eye. Mendez has come off the clock. There's a left hook by Jackson Marinas. There's a right hand by Jackson Marinas. A jab by Jackson Marinas. What I'm impressed by Marinas is he's using his jab along with his ring IQ and his height. He's maintaining that height advantage, his reach. He's making Romero come to him, and when Romero it comes forward, he makes mistakes by walking in very flat-footed and not entering in with the jab. And when Romero throws those wild, looping shots, it leaves for an easier target for Marinas to counterpart. Like that example right there. He's swinging wildly as Romero, and I think he might be a little bit disappointed in himself that he hasn't been able able to really land that home run shot. A left hook by Marinas. I think Jackson Marinas has so much skill. This is high level stuff that we are watching. It was low, but stay off his head. That's why it was low. Stay off his head. I think it's a close fight, but I'm seeing that Marinas is starting to pull away here in this fight. There's a left hook catching the attention of Rolando Romero. This has been a jab clinic for Jackson Marinas. Final moments of the 10th. To the championship rounds we go. That's what I'm talking about. And as we take a look at some of the combination work, and for Marina's that right hand, both a close distance, but Roly Romero seems to be affected by that left eye where the cut occurred in the ninth. There's a left hook that connected for Marinez and Romero throwing wildly, but my goodness. Coming up our main event, David Benavides in our main event tonight. He is no longer defending his WBC super middleweight crown, having weighed in almost three pounds over the limit of 168. That man, Alexis Angulo from Colombia, can win the title. On to round 11 we go for the interim WBA lightweight championship. Ray Flores here ringside. And Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut on the east coast of the United States. Jackson Marina is at least from my standpoint I have him winning this matchup thus far. And Romero, I think, is starting to enter that territory where he needs something significant. And he's got to be able to get a potential knockdown to change the scoring and the complexity of this fight. All the momentum is clearly in the favor of Jackson Marinas. Double jab by Marinas. He ma he's making Romero come to him. And what is impressive about Jackson Marinas is he sets traps against Romero. He makes Romero come to him. He's setting these traps. He's countering him with the right hand. He is using his jab as a pestering mechanism 
that is affecting the balance and the ability of Rolando Romero to unload power shots. Nice shot by Romero, that's probably one of his best punches that he's thrown, but then answering back was Marinas to seize the momentum in his favor. The corner of Jackson Marina is urging him that there we go. They like what they are seeing out of the 29 year old from the Dominican Republic. Good work by Jackson Marina. Don't do that. Don't do that. The metal ducks underneath. Final moments of the 11th. Jackson Marinas is performing a masterful boxing exhibition here against Rolando Romero. Let's take a look and you see Romero again trying to brush away the blood and then boom, he gets clipped with the crushing right hand by Jackson Marinas. Okay, estoy buscando un solo golpe. La izquierda la está tapando y quitándose la vida. Okay, pero sígueme vivo, eh. Este round está desesperado. Va a querer salir con todo. Ok, que se lo ve como un idiota. Ok, para hacerse un contragolpe. Ok. Last round. Everything falling by the jack. Period, point blank. No, no sé. You win. You win it. Hands down. Make sure you wipe that forehead when you're done. Mira, que tú debes de ocupar este round completo. That's fine. Take it up. Time to go. Then touch him up. Last round. Last round. Touch up. Good job. 12th and final round here from Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. As Jackson Marinez has been giving a buffet of jabs to Rolando Romero. Well, I, I mentioned after the first four rounds that I had a 3-1 in favor of Jackson Marinez. And uh, to my, as we have watched this fight unfold, that has not changed. And I think that Marinez is starting to further the gap of the scorecards and widen them more in his favor. Marinez using his jab, I think he is fighting and performing at such a high level here tonight. His ring IQ is unparalleled. But Orlando Romero, if he cannot get this win, will certainly learn a lot and have to go back to the drawing board. But Jackson Marinez is throwing so many quality punches and punches. Using his jab, using his ring IQ, staying away from danger, setting traps, making Romero come to him, and then making him pay as he comes with this relent with this relentless and reckless aggression. 100 seconds left here in the 12th. And Marinez showboating a little bit. He feels like he has this fight in the back. Marinez showcasing his tactical brilliance inside the ring, doubling up on the jab. Marinez was adamant coming into this fight, saying, I'm not scared of the power of Romero. I respect him, but I'm not afraid of his power. And he has done everything that he has said, whereas Romero proclaimed, 
I'm going to give you guys the most vicious knockout that you've ever seen while he has not lived up to that promise. So it's going to be the both men are ranked in the top 10 of the WBA rankings. Final moments of what has been an excellent virtuoso like performance in the ring from Jackson Marinez. Will the judges see it the way we do? We'll find out. That is the end of the matchup. Oh man, definitely. And there you see Jackson Marinez, who is absolutely thrilled with his performance tonight, and he has every right to be happy with how he performed this side of the ring tonight. I told you what his job was before the fight got here. It's the same. Jackson Marinez. That's a good 12 round way for the That's a round for the You know what I'm saying? And there is Jackson Marinez. Very happy bouncing up and down as he is with Jackson, his trainer, Jose Contreras, spent time with Robert Garcia for the past year. And Jackson Marinez, we will wait the scorecards. The judges in this fight, Glenn Bellman, Frank Lombardi, Don Trella, all of them, Solid yeah, judges. Jimmy Lennon has the scorecards. And we await the decision. Again, to my knowledge, it was a boxing clinic for Jackson Marinez, but we have seen robberies in combat sports in the past. Hopefully that is not the case tonight, but again, you never know until the announcer reads off the verdict. I believe he has the scorecards, and we will set it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Don Trella, scores about 115 to 113. Glenn Feldman sees it 116 to 112, and Judge Frank Lombardi scores about 118 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. He is still undefeated. He is now the interim WBA lightweight world champion, Rolando Roli Romero. Rolando Romero getting the win. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Strap season. 118, 110 for Romero. What were they watching? Congrats to Rolando Romero, but that was just an absolute robbery in my opinion.